Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, March 18th, and today I am going to show you how to do some sun salutations, which are basically you could think of them like yoga burpees. It could provide a great brain break for you, get your body moving, give you some energy, make you ready for whatever activity you're going to do next. Um, I hope, like me, you've created a place in your house where you can move. You can see I've got my exercise ball here, my yoga blocks. I'm just trying to do everything I can to keep myself moving um, often throughout the day because I don't normally sit as much as I have been um, lately. So, um, sun salutations. Start at the top of your mat if you have one. If not, using your floor is fine. Bring your feet together or let them be about shoulder width apart. And then really allow your feet to press into the floor beneath you, allowing your entire body to feel longer. Imagining that you're stacking all of the bones and muscles on top of each other. Press into the ground. And then on your next breath, inhale the arms up alongside the ears, gaze up to the sky. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward, let your hands rest either on the floor, the mat, or maybe even to your shins. Then lift the heart, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky, and exhale, release the hands back down to your side. So we'll call this step one. So try step one with me again. So pressing into the feet, feel the body long, feel the body strong. As you're ready to inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, release the hands down to your sides. We'll try that again a little bit faster. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, gaze to the sky. Exhale, release the hands down to your side. Find your mountain pose. So this is mountain pose. We've done it a few times. Now you know what it's called. Standing really tall, pressing your feet down. We'll do a longer variation of this. So we're adding on. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze into the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lifting from the heart. Exhale, frame out the feet with your hands. Step one leg back, pressing the hands onto the floor. Step the other leg back, find your plank pose. Let the shoulders be over the wrists. Inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly lower your whole body down to the ground. Bring your hands right next to your rib cage, right near your shoulders. Let your feet flatten. And as you inhale, lift the chest up any amount, coming into baby cobra. Maybe lift the arms up. And find your breath. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, place the hands down, tuck the toes. Press your body back so that your feet are close to your bottom. Your bottom is close to your feet. Let your forehead rest on the ground. This is called child pose. Let yourself take two or three breaths here. And then look up at your hands, begin to move the body forward toward the hands, tuck the toes, and begin to lift the knees up off the floor. Press your feet all the way to the sky, coming up high on your toes, pressing the hands into the mat, finding your downward facing dog. Maybe bending the knees, 
one at a time here. Locking in place. When you're done, we're facing dog. And then let your body be still. And breathe. Inhaling deeply. And exhaling. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale, look up at your hands. As you exhale, take little teeny tiny steps with your feet. As slow as you can until your feet meet your hands. Inhale to that halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, release the hands down to the side. So we went through that kind of slowly. So you're probably like, what was she talking about? This isn't a yoga burpee. This is, this is easy. Um, let's go through it a little faster. It, ground yourself through your feet. Find your mountain pose. Press into the earth. Stand really tall. And as you're ready for an inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze to the sun. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, frame up the feet, step the feet back, find your plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the body all the way to the ground. Inhale, lift for that cobra, lifting from the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, press yourself back to child's pose. At the end of your exhale, gaze up between your hands, tuck the toes, lift the seat, lift, 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 lift. Find your Adho Mukha Svanasana, your downward facing dog. And then breathe here in this shape. So you heard me say Adho Mukha Svanasana. In yoga, we use a different language called Sanskrit. Adho Mukha Svanasana means downward facing dog. On your inhale, look up between your hands, and as you exhale, take teeny, 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 tiny little steps all the way to meet your hands. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, gaze at the sun. Exhale, release your hands down to your sides. So we'll do that one more time. This time, I won't talk. This time, I'll just do the movements as I've taught them to you. This is a variation of a sun salutation. There are so many ways you could do this. Um, you're welcome to practice this and make it a great brain break. Like, take a break during mass and just do two or three sun salutations to make your body feel like you're moving. So, no instructions this time. Just see if you can follow along. Great job, everybody. Keep coming back for more. I'm going to keep giving you some ideas, some things you can do not only to find your calm, but to keep yourself moving throughout the day. Have a beautiful day.